Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm Sam, and uh, I've seen a lot of people asking about uh, how to mod Saints Row the Third, and uh, is there really any point to modding it because the whole game is just a, a mess in itself. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and why would we even mod it? And today I'm basically going to show you why you can mod it and why you should mod it. Um, I'm not saying you have to, obviously, but uh, I would recommend it. It helps a lot. You don't have to use it to where it's game breaking, but it doesn't necessarily involve uh, downloading anything. Honestly, you have to download one program. You can edit it yourself, which I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, so the program you're going to be using is uh, Gib Tools. It's completely trusted. Nothing wrong with it. No Trojans. Anything. It's perfectly fine. Just download the latest version of the link in the description. Um, and uh, a typical mod website. It's like SaintsRowMods.com. Um, helps a lot. They have everything uh, you can really think of for mods. Um, but I'm going to show you how to edit files. Uh, so first, once you download that, um, you're going to want to make a folder. And uh, I got your desktop really anywhere. Um, I just have it there. Uh, and you're going to want to drag and drop. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, well, uh, I cannot find it, actually. Um, but there's going to be all of, uh, let's see, desktop. All of these are going to be in your uh, download, all of these. Uh, which seems like a lot, except for MISC tables, and I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, but these all are going to be in here. Uh, so, and that will not be either. Um, don't worry about that. Uh, so that's really your modding tools that you're mainly going to use, but you're actually really going to only use one of these, one executable program. Uh, so, if you bought the game on Steam, which most people did, uh you're going to do the same way, sorry guys, uh, you'll do it the same way that I'm doing it. Uh, so you'll go to your local disk and go to x86 program files and scroll down to Steam. Um, which most people probably know how to do this. Uh, and then go to Steam apps um, and then common and here are all your Steam games, which in this case we're doing Saints Row the Third. Let's double click that. And then this is your everything that is the root files for Saints Row the Third, um, but these spawn info things. That's basically the main thing we're going to be doing uh, with modding. Um, you can go into Pack Files, PC, and then Cache. And then here are all your VPP uh, dot PC, or underscore PC files. Um, you are going to be opening these with the mod tools and I will show you how to do that right now um so drag that over there uh, and then drag that over there just for convenience um and for example I did misc tables actually that's what you're gonna want to do for this video is uh, your misc tables vpp you're going to want to drag that from over here onto see if I can find it uh, give Saints Row 3 dot pack vpp dot exe. Just drag that from here onto there. You can see it now. Um, and that will basically unpack it. Uh, and it will create. It'll bring that over here, and it will create a folder up top to where you can access it. Uh, so you can do that with anything over here. There's not really much of a point to the others, um, considering most of what you're going to be modding is in MISC tables. So you're going to want to open that, and then here is everything that you can mod, which is a lot, guys. It is a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I've modded uh, most of the things I really want to in about an hour, maybe, 45 minutes. And it's just going through and editing uh, in a notepad file. You're going to want to open these with notepad. Um, or you can use notepad++ plus plus or really any program uh, like that. And uh, so we'll start off with, uh, let's see. We'll start off with barnstorming. That's what I started with. Um, so that's actually going to be over here. 
um, this is not going to be in your uh, root folder. Um, barnstorming is going to be in your misc tables. So just open that up, and it's going to bring up all the code for uh, barnstorming, uh, which is when you fly between uh, two, I believe it's two close together buildings, but there's a glitch at the uh, airport, which you can use a VTOL to fly between posts, three of them, and just boost it up. So your minimum speed, I've already uh, changed this to one, to where you could literally almost like walk through it and still get it. Uh, crash delay, you don't really need to change that. I guess just lower it a little if you want. Restart delay, turn that down to one. Like minimum speed and restart delay, turn that down to one. Um, that's going to uh, make it to where you don't have to fly out pretty far to restart the barnstorming or any certain distance. Uh, you can just instantly do it again. Um, which, I got confused here because knife edge tolerance, I'm like, what is knife edge? What the heck is that? Inverted multiplier? I don't even know what that is. Um, but basically it's the same thing as barnstorming because it is in the barnstorming.x table. Um, so max cache, that's normally, I don't know, 5,000 or 3,000 actually, I think it starts at. I bump mine up to 50,000, which seems like a lot. Uh, and it is, but, um, with the multiplier, every time you do it now, I get 83,000. Uh, every time I do a barnstorming, which, uh, I don't need to do it a ton to boost it up, but, uh, basically, if I want a gun upgrade, I can just go and fly the VTOL over and get that. Uh, max respect, you can change that to boost your respect when, uh, Basically, once you do it, uh, how much respect you're going to get, um, max distance, all of that. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend changing max cash. And uh, yeah, that's mainly um, everything for barnstorming that you're going to want to edit in this file. So you're going to want to do file and then save and then close that. And since barnstorming is going to be over here, uh, and I scroll up to the B's. Uh, should be somewhere around here. Um, you're going to want to drag and drop it into your root folder. That's going to make it accessible by uh, saintsrow3rd.exe. I'm not completely sh uh, knowledgeable about everything about it, but I know that is what you do, and I've never had a problem with this, and you shouldn't. Um, so that's going to make it accessible. Uh, you can do that with other things, like cheats. <laughs> um... If you want all the achievements, uh, this, only, this is only for PC, you guys, if you're not aware. <laughs> uh, you can access cheats over here and then open it up. And this is what I found really convenient, is uh, if you don't know every uh, unlock string, um, which is basically uh, what you type in to uh, get it. Um, let's see. Yeah, unlock string for drunk pedestrians is DUI, which you can see right there. So you would just type in DUI into your cell phone on the game, and you would get the uh, cheats. So what you can do here is um, don't flag as cheating. You can change that to true. It's all all of them are false. All of them are false, uh, and they're all uh, they all have a capital F. Um, so I change that to a capital T, and then true. Uh, so, when you put it in, it's not going to flag it as cheating, so you can still get the achievements with cheats on, which makes it a lot of fun. And if you don't want to go through and, like, type, uh, constantly, true, 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 for the entire thing, uh, you can actually go to edit, and then replace, find what, which you would find capital F-A-L-S-E, so false, and replace with, and capital true. And then it would replace all right here. And then uh, the only ones you're really wanting to replace are the ones with the capital F. Uh, match case, actually. Yeah, you're going to want a match case there. And then uh, replace all. So I don't need to do that. I've already done it. Uh, save again. And drag and drop over. Hold on a moment. There we go. And then drag and drop into your roots. Uh, character height, you can change that to make your guy very tall. Uh, spawn info, um, categories, spawn info categories, uh, if you're looking for Genki to, uh, boost money off him if you don't want to change barnstorming and make the game unfair, you can change the spawn rate of Genki 
So you're going to want to type control F and then Genki with a capital G. Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, find next. And then spawn save Genki. Uh, name is right here. Day chance. You can change that. Uh, it's normally a 0.05% chance. I changed that to 0.15, which I'm actually going to change to 0.25 right now. And then night chance. Uh, I'll change that to 0.25 as well. So that's a 0.25% chance he's going to spawn. So it's still rare, but it's a bit more often. Um, which he normally drops about 100,000 to 300,000. Or even more if you have it all the way upgraded. Uh, so save that. Um, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what I added here if I changed item carried or not. But, just go ahead and save that. Uh, hold on, just a moment. Oh, thank you, computer. That's exactly what I wanted. There we go. Uh, save, and then close it. Okay, just cover that up. <laughs> so yeah, anything like these, uh, city challenges, if you, uh, if you're going for all of the challenges achievement, um, you, uh, can change it from, say, 500 people to run over to 5, if you want. Um, store weapons, you can change costs, anything like that. Uh, what's accessible in the store, anything like that, really. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. You can just look through um, the code and uh, find it. And just make sure you drag and drop and save them when you edit them. And that's really it. Um, you can start up your uh, Sensor a third, like normal. Um, run any DirectX you want. It's not going to make a difference. And that's it. You've modded your, uh, or well, edited, really, your Saints Row the Third. Um, and you can change it to how you want. You don't have to go off other people's mods. Again, I, you can use SaintsRowMods.com. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys have fun modding, and I'll see you guys later.